As one of the oldest artistic traditions, Chinese painting is still popular at present, not only in China but also in the world. Chinese painting is known as Guo Hua, means national, native painting. While the Western styles of art came to China in the 20th century, in Chinese painting, the theme is usually about mountains, rivers, flowers, and birds. Traditional Chinese painting uses essentially the same techniques and tools as calligraphy. The tools for Chinese painting include the brush, ink, paper, and ink slab. People call them four treasures of the study. This is the kind of paper used in Chinese painting, xuan paper. In Chinese, we say xuan zi. It absorbs ink quickly like sponge and gives a rich change of different shades. Each brush stroke is a definitive move that produces a portion of the painting that can neither be improved nor corrected. And this is the brush used in Chinese brush painting. And this is the ink stick and ink slab. Generally speaking, Chinese paintings can be divided into two styles, Gong Bi and Xie Yi. Gong Bi means elaborate style, and Xie Yi means free liberal style. So when the artist draw Gong Bi means he has to be careful and elaborate. And he used the brush to draw the lines vividly and realistic details. And when the artists draw the freestyle paintings, means he is using the simple and the bold brush strokes to express his feelings. And the freestyle lays more emphasis on capturing the spirit of the objects instead of their appearance only. And finally, the finished work can be mounted on scrolls, such as hanging scrolls or hand scrolls. And traditional painting can also be done on album sheets, walls, lacquerware, folding screens, and other medias. So if you decide to learn Chinese paintings, there are usually three steps to start. And the first step for the beginner is to learn technique. Gong Bi means meticulous. And you are going to use high detailed brush strokes and it often highly colored and usually depicts narrative objects and students usually start to draw flowers, orchid, bamboo, and pony, lotus, and birds. So that's the contents to draw at the beginning. And the second step to learn another technique, ink and wash painting. In Chinese, we call it shui mo hua. In English, it is called water and ink. That is loosely termed watercolor, a brush painting. This is also known as liberal painting, and this style is called freehand style. In Chinese, we say xie yi. And usually, students will continue to practice the brush and boneless flowers and the birds painting by modeling first and some classic paintings. And last but not the least, the third step requires the students to have a good grasp of two techniques, Gong Bi and Xie Yi. And landscape painting is usually regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. And the great age of Chinese landscape is the time from the Five Dynasties period to the Northern Song period. 
As students usually take over ten months, if you plan as a full time practice, and you are going to be connect the higher level study.